Hello, I'm Andy. I'm Nancy. Welcome back. Smash that like button. Jack's Gulch is part of the Cameron Peak burn scar. The wildfire, which is believed by the U.S. Forest Service investigators to be human-caused, burned 208,663 acres, or 326 square miles. I don't know if you can see those things moving in the background there at the top of the hill, those black spots. I'm moving too much. There. Those are cows. And they are so damn cute. And also, they are that far away. That is the coolest place to see cows. Where we're standing here is called Heart Attack Hill. It's a part of the Kelly Flats four-wheel drive road system, and it's beautiful from the top. You can see the bus off in the distance there. Pardon my zooming, I'm using my cell phone camera in this section, so it's it's uh, hard to zoom smoothly with a cell phone camera. If you ever get a chance to go there, I recommend you take trekking poles if you want to climb it by foot. Um, I did not have mine. I sincerely regretted that I did not bring them along. Um, <laughs> it's very steep, and it's loose because it's dirt and rocks, so it's uh, it's a little sketchy. But totally worth it if you get to the top. And when you luck out and have four vehicles show up while you're there, it's also really cool. And I gotta say, I think the Wranglers did a way better job than the Cherokees. And if I was going to do something like this, the smallest Wrangler I could find would be exactly what I would use. It was a little bit nerve-wracking to watch um, people I didn't even know, complete strangers, go up this hill in these Jeeps. Just, that's... <laughs> I have the fear gene. I'm, I'm, I'm not, that's not my, I would not do anything like this. That's totally not my thing. Not at all. Andy would love it and actually really would like to do it. But I, nah, he's going to have to do it by himself. And I will stand up at the top and watch or not watch. I'll set the camera up and make sure it doesn't blow away while I don't watch at all. Hey, handsome. How are you? Why? Oh, oh fuck no, I wouldn't partake in any of this shit. Damn. We made it. 
crazy. It's a beautiful color. I love that color. month of May, I think, is when we did most of our hiking, most of our fun. Mm -hmm. yeah, After May, so. we got really busy. Did not get as much in. No, no, we did a few little hikes and a few solo hikes, but most of our fun time, I think, was in May. Yeah, and the some of the, I think, Gray Rock was my, <sighs> that was a fun hike. Gray Rock was like a wonderland. That was, um, I think, in this video, it's actually was closer. You've already watched it. Um, I think I, you'll see Andy, like, in a red shirt and a hat. That was a gray rock. Um, if you ever get the chance to go there and go hiking, I do it. Do it. Go up the meadow path. Yeah. Up. Go up the meadow path. Yeah. Please. Take the, <laughs> take the shorter way back. Take the meadow. Yeah, up you're there. you're gonna want to because we went up the other way and yeah. came back the meadow path, and and when you take the meadow path, you go down a hill to the meadow, and you think, oh God, this is beautiful, awesome, great. We're just going to go down a little ways right over there where, where it kind of disappears. And then you realize the path is taking you back up another mountain and you're going up higher and your legs are already dead by then. Yeah. Go up the meadow side, down the other side. But once you get up there, it's like a wonderland. It's like you walk through, I want to say on that trail, I feel like we walked through five or six different fairy worlds. Yeah, it was it was weird. It was just you'd walk around a corner and it'd just be a completely different world. There's a yep. forest on top of that. I mean, <laughs> when you're walking up to it, you look at it and you're like, "How do I get up there?" It's without... just a rock. It's like solid rock. It's like there's no way I can make it up there. Mm -hmm. And then as it brings you around, kind of to the back side of it, next thing you know, you're in a forest. And it's well, like, where did the well first you yeah scramble up rocks and stuff. We but... got a little bit off track because there's an area on the trail where people go off and hi Salem. Um, there's kind of like a, I don't know if you want to call it a lookout or what, but um, we kind of started to go that way and then we realized that wasn't quite right and we saw people above us and we went back and they're like, oh yeah, it, there's a couple spots like that, but don't worry about it. Once you get through the forest, you're fine. And we all kind of looked at each other and laughed and once they left, we're like, there's not a forest up there. What are they talking about? It was gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful.
If you want to see us working on the bus, <laughs> keep think, watching. <laughs> yeah, I think the next video is putting solar panels on the roof. Uh, the next, yeah, I think it is the next one. That's that's what I've that's what I've been looking at for the last handful of days is solar panels. So. And I know there's some footage of this couch I'm sitting on. So. Yeah. The, thank thank you Salem. Thank you for gracing us with your beauty. I don't know if you actually got to see her, but. <laughs> so. We'll see you later. Peace. Bye. <laughs> if we're crooked, just tip our head and no one will notice. <laughs> yeah, see? Can't even tell anymore. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Do you want to...